Hey, what's up and welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at the stack size sorter and this is a design by Andrew 54757 from the storage tech discord. I'll put a link to any of his socials in the comments below and the description of the video. But yeah, we're going to just take a look at how this works and it's pretty cool. So first off, what does a stack size sorter do? Uh, so what it does is kind of like an unstackable filter, except it also handles the splitting off of 16 stackables like this enter pearl here. So the input comes in above this hopper here, feeds into the system, and then at roughly hopper speed, it sorts through everything and their output into the various barrels here on the other side. Um, so yeah, let's just step through one at a time for each of these and see how this thing works. First off, we have some redstone dust, which will be some 64 stackables. When that comes into this hopper here, in a span of five redstone ticks, it will then unpower this hopper, which will be enough time for the item to have been put into this dropper. Now this could be a dropper or a dispenser. We're not actually using it to spit items out. We just are using it for the very specific size of its inventory. Uh, and so what we're doing here is we're putting 38 filter items in the bottom right here and then we're using this to sort based on stack size so if you have a 64 stackable it'll come in here in the top left and the total output from this container won't change so you'll still have one signal strength coming out if you get a 16 stackable it'll up the total weight by four and that will bring it to the next signal strength. So then this will come up to two, that'll go to one. And then if you have a 64 stackable, it'll actually increase the total signal strength output by two. So this will go up to three, two, and one. And those values will be observed and that's how we're going to uh, change the signal strength. So let's just hop over to the other side here and we'll kind of track how the 64 stackables go through. Uh, so they come in above here, go in there. As I said, it doesn't change the signal strength. So it just goes uh, down these two hoppers here, which come into this dropper here. And since we're not changing either of these, none of the observers go off and it just falls straight through this hopper and then out to the barrel on the other side. Now, if we have a 16 stackable come in up here, it will raise the signal strength by one. Again, taking a few ticks to fall down and get put into this uh, dropper here. But meanwhile, the signal strength will increase by one here, which will get picked up by this observer. And the observer chain will come down here, powering to the side here and down here, one tick apart. And this will happen just before the redstone dust or whatever 64 or 16 stackable uh, arrives here. So it'll actually lock this hopper right here. And then these two droppers will fire in the same tick, but this one will fire first. So what it'll do is it'll push the item over and skip over the next hopper into this end one. And then it'll just get sucked down and over into the side. And similarly, we'll have a unstackable item. So like the mine cart here. It will come in here, it'll raise the signal strength by two and then fall down and start going towards this dropper here. And then over here, we will trigger both this line of observers as well as this line here. And since this line is shorter, what will happen is it will trigger this dropper before this one fires. So it'll um, fire one game tick or redstone tick before which will put it on cooldown so when this one fires instead of firing both of these across it will fire this first one the second one will be on cooldown so it'll fail so the item will stop in here and then get sucked out by the hopper below and that's how we get the unstackables in this one so let's just hop up here i've got a prepared barrel so we'll just put it on top and i've Kind of alternated between the different item types because the the border between the types is typically where systems like this will fail so i've just kind of gone through the different combinations 
just to show you here and you hear a click in the background every time it clicks will be when this gets put on cooldown and then it'll fail on the next update so yeah it clicks when the unstackables go through so we just got another two unstackables and this should be just about done yep and you can see it goes really fast i think it's pretty much hopper speed it might be a little slower to get started and then to turn off again uh, but yeah one other comment is that you don't want to have anything powering this hopper up here because if you ever do power it or unpower it while it's in operation it could mess with the timings and then you may have items going where they don't belong so yeah pretty cool system it's really resilient and something that's super useful if you're dealing with storage tech because well you always have different ways of handling stackables and unstackables sometimes there's uh, very important situations where you don't want to be running 16 stackables and 64 stackables into the same system so you might have different um different processing of the two types and yeah that's where this will come in handy so thanks again to andrew54757 and i'll see you in the next one